Hey Libra, welcome to your reading for February 2024. Thank you for being here. We're going to grab three cards here, Libra. See what's going on for you. We're also going to get three cards for your extended if you're interested. It's linked up in the top of the comments if you'd like to join us on Patreon, Libra. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. I immediately just am going into this mode of like, you are protected, Libra. You don't have to be afraid of anything right now. Anything that could be going like bump in the night, you may even be having nightmares. I'm here to say, Libra, you are, it's not even that you're protected. You're the protector, you're the protector of your own boundaries. Like maybe in the past, Libra, you felt like people blew past your boundaries, for example. What I'm seeing here is like, yeah, it could have been. Okay. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Past lovers, family members. Okay. I'm seeing people. Knight of Wands literally blowing past your boundaries. So maybe now that something is happening in your life, I'm seeing it more as like traumatic memories resurfacing. And I highly relate to this Libra. Okay, so that's I'm seeing all of this out of personal like camaraderie with you. Okay. It's like you've had to defend yourself against something or someone recently or you're about to. And what I'm seeing is you standing in the seven of wands position, just doing something very, very normal and healthy. You have certain boundaries and you don't want those boundaries cross. And this is not, like I said, this is very normal, very healthy. It's not like anything crazy. And I'm seeing... People bumping up against those boundaries. So it's triggering past traumas of when you used to not have firm boundaries. Or you had them, but people blew past them. So what I'm seeing is though, I'm saying all this for a reason. You have gone through some sort of upgrade or transformation in your life to where... Now, when you hold the seven of wands, it's like you are your own protector. It's hard to say what I'm seeing. <laughs> like in the past, maybe you would like pray a lot and ask for you to be protected. And I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. I believe we're protected by our angels, by our guides, by our ancestors, by the divine. A hundred percent. But what I'm seeing here is it's like you feeling like you were not capable of holding those boundaries just on a 3D plane. Like I'm not talking about like spiritual protection. I'm talking about literal like please do not do that anymore. Please don't talk to me like that. It's like you're like somebody is maybe even treating you disrespectfully Libra Maybe this is like a player energy or maybe this is like somebody's district. Like I'm seeing an example in my head of you saying like very, very clearly upon the signing of a contract with a boss, like I cannot work Saturdays and it's just, it is what it is. I can't. And they agree to that. And I'm seeing, this is just an example, Libra. I'm seeing them try to cross that boundary and being like, Libra, we really, really need you, Libra. We we really, we're going to have to actually have you to work Fridays and Saturdays. Um, and it's like, it's, it's, it's an energy of, but it was like an agreed upon boundary or thing. Or say this is a person, like, like a romantic interest, because we do have the lovers here. It's like, you were very clear with like, I don't do games. Um, you know, I'm looking for something real. And it's like, maybe a person at first put up a facade. And it's like, now they're playing all these weird mind games with you and like holding back your energy and leaving you feeling disappointed. And there's this energy of you just being like, I know this is not 
for me. I said the same thing to Gemini. It's like you're looking for if this is love for you, Libra. It doesn't have to be, but if if it is, I'm seeing you really looking for somebody. Watch that Gemini reading because I feel like we talked a lot about that there. You're wanting a person that is a spiritual counterpart, not just anybody. Like you're you're not just like looking for love. You're looking for a spiritual counterpart to create a life with. That's what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing based upon that, if this is love for you, Libra, is somebody cast that illusion that they were a person like that. And I'm seeing you just being like, dude, I can see it in your actions. You're a player. And I'm just seeing a very like confident, firm Libra. You're not being dramatic. You're not, you're not being overbearing. You're not saying anything that's crazy. You're just seeing the behavior and you're see again, it's like that trauma coming up again, those cycles coming up again. You're having to be firm about your boundaries right now in some area of your life. And you're being reminded of all the times that those things were crossed. And what I'm seeing is like, that is a very emotional thing for you. But what I'm here to say, Libra, is you've already gone through a transformation of a lifetime or you're about to that's being triggered by all this crap take it as it resonates you either have or you're about to go through a transformation that it's like you are not afraid to hold your truth in position you said you didn't want a player Sometimes what happens when we set a firm boundary with the universe and we say what we want, sometimes the universe will test us and see if we're really serious. Like, okay, Libra said that they want a high-level spiritual soulmate, a high priest and a high priestess. Let's test Libra with some asshole to blow in and blow out and play mind games and hold back their energy and then love bomb. Let's, let's see if Libra's done with narcissists. And I'm seeing you're done. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing there. Let's get into the cards. This could be anything in your life. It's it's basically just an energy of you needing to hold a boundary and hold a position. And it's like that's being crossed or challenged. And so it's triggering you. That's what I'm seeing. Card number one, six of cups. This could even be a past person trying to come back. Again, Past person or just past memories, past traumas coming up. Everything that I talked about is in that six of cups. That's just like the proof of what I was saying in the cards. Card number two, three of wands. See, you have changed, Libra. With the death card and the three of wands, you've expanded your consciousness. You've, you've seen that there are other ways to live life. And now it's like you can't go back to the past. Like the stuff that you used to tolerate before, it's just not going to fly anymore with this new Libra, this new you. You've grown, you've changed, and you're looking. It's almost like somebody who's leaving their hometown. It's 5.55 p.m. right now, by the way. It's like you're looking for something different, something new. You're looking for a change. You don't want to just keep repeating the same old cycles and patterns. Card number three is the Six of Pentacles. You want something equal, something balanced. That's not a lot to ask for, Libra. Two sixes, six six, or six 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 could be numbers that you're seeing. What I'm here to basically do for you, Libra, is just to confirm. First of all, you're not crazy to be feeling triggered by this behavior. It's just garbage. <laughs> But you've changed and you've up leveled and spirit is about to bring you something real after you get this crap out of your life. Your extended is linked up in the top of the comments. Thank you, Libra.